Harvest groups, why do we create them and what do they do for you? Typically speaking, most cultivations are trying to target six crops in a year. Now, what that means is you need to know how long each strain takes to flower. Otherwise, you're gonna far surpass that number and only achieve maybe four crops in a year. Or maybe you do a really great job and you're right on target with those six. But it all starts with knowing how long each strain and each cultivar takes to flower. Through this, we actually could start building out the foundations of your cultivation. So if you're running, say, a gelato that takes 60 days to flower, and you're following it up with a Jack Herrera that takes 21 days to veg. Isn't it nice to know when you need to have those Jack Herrera plants transplanted into veg so that you're hitting your target heights, which then increase your yield potential? Also, if you're harvesting this gelato, say next Saturday, isn't it nice to see what those chronological events are? So that way you could actually talk to your harvest team, have them ready to come in on that next Monday, and that way the crop is harvested on time. Not only this, but if we're looking at that crop and we know that it's coming out of room three and the historical data shows that it yielded every single time around 280 to 300 pounds, your sales team could start predicting what they are gonna to need to do. They'll go and communicate to all their vendors and their distributors and say, hey, we have gelato coming down. Typically it's gonna be around say 28% THC. Our yield's gonna be at 280 pounds. Let's go sell 220 pounds of it. So that way, as soon as it's harvested, Post-production doesn't take much uh, longer, and then you're able to get it through that pipeline. This is a key part of success. It turns ROI faster, it reduces your cogs in terms of production, and this is all key to building a successful business. And that's what our harvest groups deliver to you.